Hello students, welcome back. So yesterday I showed you one image and I asked you to identify the condition and uh, many of you have uh, typed the correct answer in the comment box and the answer was atopic dermatitis. This was the image and why this is a case of atopic dermatitis let us try to discuss with the help of one MCQ. So this is the question that 25 year old man presented with recurrent episodes of flexural eczema along with recurrent skin infection, severe abdominal cramp and diarrhea and options are seborrheic dermatitis, atopic dermatitis, airborne contact dermatitis and numular dermatitis. Okay. Now the clue here is that this dermatitis is occurring at flexorals. Okay. So like you can see here. Uh, popliteal fossa of knee so flexors are involved and the condition is recurrent okay so this is persisting for a very long period it is recurrent again and again it is occurring so this is a chronic or a persistent condition and because this is a very itchy condition so when the patient scratches what happens there is breach in the uh, superficial skin and due to this there are chances of secondary infection so secondary infection is occurring so recurrent skin infections are occurring and because this is a case of atopic dermatitis and we know that in atopic dermatitis they have history of atopy they have history of various allergies this allergies uh, or history of atopy can be due to various things commonly it is due to dust mite it could be other things also like here in this patient it is due to seafoods so there is history of atopy associated so because all these features are pointing towards atopic dermatitis the answer here is atopic dermatitis okay so that's why the answer here is atopic dermatitis so i hope this is clear to all of you now today again i'm going to show you one image here and as you can see uh, over the trunk of this child there are various hyperpigmented lesion one change which is seen over this lesion and this change is known as a sign can you identify the sign and if you can identify the sign, then answer it in the comment box. I will discuss this tomorrow. Thank you very much.